draw all the isomers geometrical and optical of 1, 2 and 3. Fanciful. Now, we have to draw all geometrical and optical isomers and let us begin with question number 1, yeah, part 1. CO, Cl2, E and hold twice. Now, if you have two monodentate ligands, my dear, these two monodentate ligands could be cis or trans to each other. So, let me start by drawing them. This is octahedral geometry, right? So, this is what I am going to get. We have cobalt, we have cobalt and we have cobalt. Fascinating. What are you drawing? I am just drawing an octahedral structure and trying to put ligands on that. If Cl atoms are trans to each other and we have E n like this. This is the way we draw this. This is 1, but then at the same time Cl atoms could very well be cis to each other also. So, they, these Cl's are these Cl's are trans. So, 1 and 2, 1 and 2 are geometrical isomers very much. But 1 is a chiral. It is not optically active, but 2 is optically active. So, so you find you have 2 and 3. 2 and 3 are actually non superimposable mirror images like this. Wow, what are they? They are actually enantiomers, they are optical isomers. So, 1 and 2 geometrical isomers, 2 and 3 optical isomers. And 1 and 3 also are geometrical only. Why? Because 1 is trans and 3 is cis. That is the way it is. If you take a look at the second part, now I have NH3, Cl and En hold twice. This my dear is very similar to what we have done except that instead of writing 2 Cl, I just write down 1 Cl and 1 ammonia. Would that make any difference? Not really. Again, if this Cl and ammonia are trans to each other, I would get one geometrical isomer. If Cl and ammonia are cis to each other, I would get a different geometrical isomer. Just like part 1, I would get part 2. All you need to do is in part 1, just erase one Cl and write down one ammonia. There is nothing new. It is just a repetition. I got three isomers here. I will again get three here. One and two are very, very similar. Third one looks a bit different. I have two ammonia, two Cl and one ethylene diamine. Oh my God. What do I do here? Ammonias could be cis or trans to each other. Cl minus could be cis or trans. En is a bidentate ligand and I hope you remember that bidentate ligand bites only at a cis location. So, let me try to figure out all that what is possible. First, well, we have cobalt, which is lovely. We have En. And now, cobalt and En. I mean, this much is fixed, fine. I could have in the last one ammonias which are trans to each other and chloride ions, the ligands which are cis. Or the opposite, ammonia which is cis and Cl which is trans. Please note the nature of locations is such that I just can't have everything trans. But could I have everything cis? Let me try. If Cl and Cl are cis to each other and ammonia and the other ammonia are also cis to each other. Is that possible? Yes, that is very much possible. That is very much there. Does this possess a plane of symmetry? Yes, the red square is a plane of symmetry. Why? Because top and bottom are same. Again, top and bottom same, so this is the plane of symmetry. Both of them are a chiral. 1 and 2 are geometrical isomers of each other. What about 3? 1, 2 and 3 
are geometrical isomers. Yes, because in this one pair ammonia is trans, the second pair Cl's are cis. In this, the opposite one pair is trans, the other is cis, but in this case chlorides are trans and ammonia is cis. In the third case, both monodentate pairs Cl, Cl is cis and ammonia, ammonia is also cis, right, fascinating. So, there are three different cases, but this is also chiral because this has no plane of symmetry. Oh my God, is that so? Try this out. Yes, very much. What do we do in that case? Well, in that case, uh, if we make a mirror image also. So, this plus mirror image, whatever you draw. these ones. So, 1, 2, 3 and 4. 3 and 4 are OIs. Instead of 3, you could write 4 also here. 1 is GI of 2, 1 and 2 are geometrical isomers. 2 and 3, 2 and 4, 1 and 3, 1 and 4 are also geometrical isomers. But 3 and 4 together, if you take temperatures together, they are nothing but optical isomers. So, in total we have 4 stereoisomers in third part.